Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on co-interior angles on parallel lines. Now we have co-interior angles when we have this kind of C shape here. And if you have this kind of C shape where the two lines at either end are parallel to each other, then these angles are not equal because can you see that's an obtuse angle and that's an acute angle, but they add to give 180. So if that's A and that's B, then they would add up to give 180 degrees. And what we'd write in exam if we ask for justification of a particular angle is that co-interior angles sum to 180 degrees. So let's use that on these two problems here. Part A, well we've got co-interior angles here, we've got two parallel lines that kind of form a C shape and these two angles must add up to 180 degrees. So therefore X is just 180, take away 100, which is 80 degrees. Now this second one is a bit harder because we've got more going on. Now firstly note that these marks here indicate that these three lengths are equal. So that must be an equilateral triangle. And the interior angles of an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees. So let's put those in first. And we want to work out this angle Y over here. Now can you see that because these two lines are parallel, we have this C shape here. It's a kind of backward C, but it's still a C shape, isn't it? And therefore, if that's 110, this other angle is going to be 180 minus it, which is going to be 70 degrees. At this point, we've got three angles on a straight line. So the angles around that point on that straight line add up to 180. So if we just do 70 plus 60, that adds up to 130, and therefore the remaining angle Y must be 180 minus that, which is 50 degrees. 